Yo, yo, what up? Welcome to No Fat Fridays. Sorry I didn't do it last week. It honestly completely slipped my mind, so I want to give a special shout out to uh, one of my students in my coaching program, Brian, uh, who actually found out about me through YouTube here. He was like, dude, what happened? You said you're going to do No Fat Fridays, and I was like, oh shit, you're right. So now I'm doing it. Thanks to you, Brian, so thank you very much. Today, what we're going to be talking about is testosterone. A lot of, uh, one of the big reasons that a lot of people go into No Fat is because the increased benefits of having elevated testosterone, right? Now, there's not really that many studies to show uh, the benefit of actually increasing testosterone and by doing no fat long term. In the short term, there is there's a Chinese study that was done where people did semen retention for one week and they saw elevated chronic levels of testosterone, which is awesome. But what I want to talk to you to you here about today is to really just go to show you and provide evidence and proof, and you can come to your own conclusions about this evidence uh, that you know you shouldn't be doing no fat to increase your testosterone. In fact, I'd argue what makes a man isn't necessarily testosterone, right? That's kind of a lie that's been given to you. It's kind of half true, but half also really false. And I'm gonna get into that into this video, okay? So let's start off with this first. Let's start off with what's the normal range. And I can talk about this stuff because, you know, I was a personal trainer for seven years. Uh, I've personally never taken steroids, but I actually have a lot of friends who have taken steroids. And I know what it looks like when someone has hyper elevated levels of testosterone, where they have like five to 10 times the amount the normal range right especially if they're competing for a bodybuilding competition or they're like trying to bulk up to get giant right so i know i've seen anecdotally i've seen what that looks like when someone is in those states of hyper elevated testosterone okay so first of all what's the normal range so testosterone is measured through something called um uh, ng slash uh, uh dl which means uh nanograms per per decaliter right and the normal range for that is for men is anywhere between 300 and 1000 right and it's, it's it's a certain range because your testosterone levels can uh, heighten and lower throughout the day right so obviously when you're like super horny chances are your testosterone levels are going to be a lot higher during that time but times where you're not it's going to be more lower at a normal range right and all of this to say right your testosterone levels can can change throughout the day but they can never be at such a hyper elevated state where you end up seeing these drastic benefits in testosterone right so <clears throat> what i mean by that is in order to see effects from steroids for example where the uh, benefits of elevated testosterone are obvious right where you have increased muscle mass you end up getting like acne and stuff all over the place it's not good stuff you get testicular atrophy unfortunately where your balls shrink um that all that stuff doesn't occur until you're at least 2000 uh mg per dl so at least until you're at least a level of 2000 uh milligrams per deciliter right and the, the normal range for guys, it's again, it's between 300 and 1,000. On average, it ends up being about five or 600 for the average man, right? So to be at 2,000, you need to have four times the level of a normal person's testosterone to start actually seeing the, like, the benefits of uh, really high testosterone, right? As long as you're in the normal range, you're going to have uh, fluctuations throughout the day, but there's no evidence saying that you're gonna have all of these like super you know, benefits. All it really means is testosterone is more of a threshold than anything. As long as you're above a certain amount all the time and you never drop below a certain amount, then you know you're going to be perfectly healthy. You're going to have libido at times where it's appropriate, right? You're gonna. It's not going to hinder your ability to grow muscle mass, things of that sort, right? It's more so a threshold to make sure that um, you're within a certain range. So no fab could help you potentially if you uh, have too low testosterone, right? And that could get benefits that way. But if you're already in the normal range, and if you're a guy in your 20s or 30s, you're probably already in the normal range, right? Because testosterone decreases with age. If you're already in the normal range, getting more testosterone that's still in the normal range isn't going to help, right? Like best case scenario, let's say even you're able to double the amount of testosterone the normal testosterone that you have you still won't that still won't be enough for you to you know see the benefits that guys that take steroids get <laughs> right you, you just it just won't right so no matter what you do there's no way that you can elevate it by four or five times which is the amount that's required to actually see these uh 
you know, really noticeable benefits in like increased muscle mass and like hypersexualized libido, things of that sort. That only happens if you're like four or five times above the range, right? Above the normal range, right? And, and increasing your testosterone, your chronic, you know, normal average levels of testosterone by two is like best case scenario, right? Best case scenario. When I say that range of 300 to a thousand, no one's ever constantly at a thousand. If, if you're not taking steroids, right? You're typically going to land anywhere between like 400 and like 600, maybe 700, right? And if best case scenario of NoFab really does just hyper elevate your testosterone chronically, um, you know, at best, you'll be able to increase it by twice the amount, which is insane, but you still don't really see many benefits from that anyway, <laughs> right? And when I'm saying like friends who are take, when, when I say that I had friends who took steroids and then um, a lot of them had to up the dose because they saw some benefits by taking more than um, about five times the normal amount, having that much testosterone in their body, they're taking about a thousand milligrams a week. Um, a lot of them, times they had to double, triple the dose to actually see more benefits, right? So at the lowest end of you actually being able to see some kind of significant change when it comes to testosterone, it has to be uh, basically, you know, at least three, at least I would say four times the amount um, of what's normal, right? If you want to really see like really noticeable benefits, it has to be like 10 times the amount, <laughs> right? Uh, pretty crazy stuff. Um, just to put in perspective, like pro bodybuilders that go on stage, they're typically like anywhere from 20 to 30 times the amount of testosterone of a normal guy. Yeah, that's why they look the way that they do. So if the best that you can do is double it and you're already within that range, that's not the reason you should do NoFap, man, because I hate to break it to you. NoFap, there's a lot of benefits and testosterone, like if you're really down in the dumps with testosterone, maybe that's, or you're on um, in danger of possibly um, having chronically low levels of testosterone, maybe this can, you know, ensure your you stay in the normal range along with diet and exercise. But if you really actually have chronically low testosterone, um, you should go to a doctor and they can uh, they can prescribe you, um, you know, testosterone replacement therapy, right? And that's something that I will highly consider for myself. Probably like 10 years from now when I'm a bit older and my net, my testosterone starts naturally decreasing. But all that to say, guys, don't do NoFap because of testosterone. These are the facts. Um, <laughs> you know, take it or leave it how you'd like. Anyway, if you like some more of, uh, you know, more science type based videos like this, which is kind of my forte with my background in evidence based fitness for about 10 years, or not 10 years, I'd say about five years uh, before I got into the realm of more overall self improvement. I still love covering topics like this. Obviously, I still love talking about NoFap. Um, so if you like this type of content, give it a like, uh, give me a subscribe and hit the bell button for future, or future notifications of future videos. And, um, yeah, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. Follow me on the IG at Kevin Ray Wilder and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. See you next NoFap Friday. Well, hopefully I'll see you before then. Cause I'll make more videos during that time, but you know what I mean? Anyway, goodbye.